Hi everyone, uh, travel addict guy here. I'm out in front of this big tower behind me and it's called a Torre of the Clerico. It is very, very tall. So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna take a look around and we're gonna climb up to the tower. So let's go, come on with me guys in Porto. Okay, so I'm now inside of the building and this is the home of the two clerics. That's what it's called, or the tower. So I guess there were two clerics living here at one time. You can see a lot of paintings here on the walls. And this man definitely looks like a friar or a monk. Look at this table here. So definitely a luxurious place that they lived in. Silver artifacts they had or silver wares. A chest, a strong box. Maybe they would have kept some of that tax money from the city in that. But here they call it the Brotherhood of the Clerics. Three brotherhoods in which the secular clerics perpetuated their reverence, adorations, and the brothers had reformed and added the statues with admirable and saintly caution until the year of 1707. Interesting things might have been going on in here actually. This is a bit of an esoteric building. It sounds very something like what we had in America with the Skull and Bone Society, something like that. What were they doing? They were meeting in secret, secret groups coming together and maybe secret rituals as well going on in this building. So we're gonna see some more of the inside. Wow, look at this, was not expecting this. So a very ornate looking church we have here basically. Wow, look at that. So what would have been going on here? Private ceremonies actually. Look at that. Very ornate. It looks to be all marble, look at that. So we're gonna be able to go all the way up around here guys. Cannot wait to do that. Look at this. Wow, so much interesting things to do in Porto. Look at this, look what you have to climb through here. Very tiny area here. And here we get a spectacular look inside. Just amazing, look at that. So another tight area to go through. Oh, this might be going all the way up into the tower now. And this is what we came to see, guys. Look at this. So it's gonna be a lot of winding steps going up. And keep going this way to the tower. It looks like you could keep going up here. Even, look at that, it's blocked off though. And we've got some ropes that were used. Look at those. Definitely some workmanship on those. They still look pristine to this day. Take a look at that. Talk about ornate. Look at that. And you have the Lamb, the Lamb of God on top. And all of the angels are the cherubs. This is very nice. It is actually a model of the building look at this some more interesting religious artifacts and this would be the one where they hang and they do the incense out of that normally they burn the incense in that amazing views from here look at this place guys okay so let's continue our tour it says to keep going this way Oh, interesting, I'm going down now. So maybe there's a tower on the other side. Okay, so I'm just on the other side now. So I believe from here you can continue the ascent to the top of the tower. And there are some more things to see here. So here we go now, up to the tower. So we see some more paintings on our way up. And we 
we've got some more crosses. Here's another cross. Wow, that looks like a very old cross there. Some more religious artifacts. This says 17th to 18th century. Resurrection of Christ. Spanish craftsmanship. So it's made by Spaniards. Look at this. Wow. Look at that representation of Jesus on the cross. Can I get more realistic than that? Very graphic and realistic. So very focused on Jesus. And here is the painting. That is very striking. And this is from the mid 16th century so 1500s now look at that and it's not behind glass or anything it's amazing they let you get so close to these items normally these would all be in glass and some very large pieces used in the services 15th to 16th century so you're talking even the 1400s the image of christ in relief sitting on the champ to be raised and ceremoniously transported. It is a liturgical adornment which opens a processional cortege, funeral or a religious ceremony accompanied and flanked by two acolytes with burning lamps. And many carved pieces of Jesus. Absolutely stunning. Look at these carvings. Wow. I've never seen anything like this. This is spectacular. So time to go even higher. We saw the Jesus collection. You can get an idea of where we are now. And we go up in the tower now. Wow, just loving these adventures guys in Porto. Okay, so from here, the real adventure begins. We're going up to the top of the tower and look at that you can tell the age of this thing guys one of the steps is even starting to wear away maybe because of the elements and here we start to see some of the city and there are people coming down also as i'm going up so at least the steps are pretty wide so far not too bad and look at this, every level you get, you get a different view. So, starting to get kind of high right now. Look at that. But we're gonna go much higher. Much, much higher, guys. All the way up to the top, hopefully. Wow, this is cool. So let's go. Continue our Trek here. Now look at this, it's just completely wide open here. Now you start to get the views. The fantastic views of Porto. Look at that. So, is that it? Are we already here? Wow. I guess well, we started our ascent earlier. The way they had this set up. And look at this, we're already up to where the bells ring. The bell tower. <laughs> go up higher here is something inscribed here so I guess you can go higher than the bell tower guys so we're gonna go as high as we can and we're gonna see some more stunning views of Porto look at that oh yes you can go even higher and there was some people coming down oh my gosh some girls were screaming when they heard the bell go out Wow. It scared those girls 
so much they let out a shriek, guys. Wow, we're not expecting that. Look how high we are now. So it's so tight here that you cannot even fit through here. I had to wait for other people. Look at this, guys. I've gone on some cool adventures. And this has got to be one of the coolest. So it seems like a lot of people want to go all the way to the top. And who can blame them? So there's another lookout from here. Absolutely amazing, guys. Wow, well worth the money to come up here. So there is more to come and it's amazing you can still do these things in Europe because we know in America this would be absolutely prohibited I'm sure of that as a danger factor. Wow absolutely incredible. I think we're almost at the top guys. Here it is. Wow. So exciting. To be at the top of this tower. It's one of the tallest towers in all of Porto. And let's get a look from here. That's incredible. We can walk around this tower. We're gonna give you 360 views, guys. I don't see why I need the mask up here. Fresh air feels great. from all over the city look at this little area here wow you gotta be careful if you come over here with kids i actually saw some kids here look at that it's almost uh big enough for a kid to fit through there wow i think maybe that should be closed off let's hope no one they keep an eye on their kids let's put it that way look at this guys wow and it's Around six, wow, that would be incredible to get the sunset from here. The sun is still shining over the city, over Porto. And we are in one of the most amazing spots in Porto. And it is fabulous, look at that. A little bit of room to get through there, like I said. So, absolutely incredible. Let's get some more views here. Might be hard to see with the sun. But this might be the coolest experience I've had yet in all of Porto, guys. Absolutely breathtaking. We were up here at bird level. Look at this. Incredible. I don't know how high we are, but it is quite high. Oh, we're not done, guys. Look at this. You can go higher. So there's one more place to go to. And very tight quarters here. Very, very tight. I don't even know how you can pass a person here. So it must be the interior of the E Tower. Wow. Well, we got to go all the way up, guys. We're going all the way to the top. Of course take you all the way up there and we are close now look at this there's actually a walk here you can go out on the very top wow I had no idea oh my guys absolutely breathtaking you can go all the way to the top unbelievable I thought we were at the top we were not this is the precipice. Absolutely insane views of the sea. Oh wow. I am blown away by this. Look at that, you can see all the way to the bridge over there. Okay, so this is only 76 meters high, the tower, but it feels much, much higher, guys. I'll have to say that. There's even more stairs here, but it is closed off. And you have another bell tower up there. Look at that. Look at that skyline. Wow. This is the payoff for all that hard work, guys. So I think we're going to wrap up the video here. Why not? What a great experience. So we'll see you in the next video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, travel addict, a guy. Take care, everyone.